Now, when you take photos like this, in these, this is a photo in the Rays Spring Training Camp. I saw these two coaches comparing notes, but I had to grab the picture quickly. And I got part of a player's arm in here that I don't really want. I could use the clone stamp tool to remove this. Now, that's kind of a laborious task. Or I could use the healing brush tool, but there's a better way. And it's called Content Aware Fill. And if you haven't used Content Aware Fill, this tool is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to choose my rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to make a selection around the player's arm. Now, can you imagine how much work that would be with the clone stamp tool to click and clone across there from the exact area to match everything? Here I've got the area selected, and I choose Edit, Fill, and for the contents from the Use menu, if it's not already selected, you may have foreground or background color selected. Choose Content Aware, and then just click OK. And Photoshop will think about it. And then all of a sudden, voila, it does a perfect job of filling in the area. And it looks like, when I deselect this, it looks like that's how the photo was taken. Because you can't see that there was a player's arm in there before. It won't always work this great. Sometimes you'll have to kind of sneak up on it and make smaller selections and use Content Aware Fill repeatedly. But in this case, it just did a perfect job of filling in the photo and making it look like the player's arm was never there. Content Aware Fill is a great time saver in Photoshop.